Hello and welcome to another very special episode of The Nerd Crew. As always, I'm Mike. And I'm Jay. And I'm just someone that uh, really loves comic books and Star Wars. Uh, I didn't used to until it became commercially viable. And now, me personally, I love talking about Star Wars. Yeah, you were never a Star Wars fan until you were. I thought it was fucking stupid, but now I think it is the most amazing thing in pop culture. Well, I was, you know, I was really afraid that Star Wars would get overplayed, but... You know, just saying the same thing over and over again, it just fills me with so much joy. But but before we get too far off track, I, I should introduce myself. I am Rich Evans, and today's sponsor is Nerd Coffin. That's right. It's a coffin for nerds. Not those fake nerds out there. You, you fucking cultural appropriators. You white jocks who, who fucking used to push me around in school and knock me down. Now you think you could just put on a fucking Star Trek shirt? Protect Back to Nerd Coffin. You know, real nerds who grew up watching the Star Wars movies in the theaters, playing Dungeons and Dragons on Saturday nights, and actually reading comic books? Well, guys, they're getting up there in age. And all that lack of physical activity throughout their whole lives is leading to things like heart disease, depression, and crippling diabetes. So Nerd Coffin is a box made out of high-quality pine. Wow. Pine is a high-quality material. But it's not what's on the outside that matters. The inside is lined with a material featuring all of your favorite pop culture characters. You can choose from Star Wars, Marvel, or DC characters to stare at while you lay in a coffin waiting for your body to rot. And the best thing about Nerd Coffin is, before you actually die, you can use it to store all of your ugly Funko Pop figures once that stupid fat ends. But for an additional $15,000, you can upgrade to the Media Edition Nerd Coffin. Very cool. Very cool. Very, Very cool. cool. Very cool. Very cool. Jay, tell us all about what the Media Edition Nerd Coffin is. Well, Nerd Coffin will install a Wi-Fi enabled flat screen television directly into your coffin. And when a new geek culture movie is released, it'll be streamed directly into your grave. Very cool, Jay. So if you die right now, while you're in your coffin, you'll get to watch the Avengers Infinity War movie and find out what happens when they team up to defeat a purple space tyrant. And you'll also get to watch the Justice League film and find out what happens when they all team up together to defeat a purple space tyrant. What value? Very cool! The movies will have commercials, but that's okay, I guess. Well, you'll have all of eternity to watch them. <laughs> well, guys, let's talk about why we're really here today. They have just released the new trailer for Star Wars, The Last Jedi. This is a big one. Oh, wow. This wow. is big fucking news. Very cool. Very cool. This is bigger than Rogue One. That's true, Rich which was bigger than The Force Awakens. So this is bigger than Rogue One. And for those of you that die before the movie comes out, I'm sure you'll be gravely disappointed. <laughs> well, speaking of graves, that brings me to our next sponsor, Nerd Life Insurance. Now, Nerd Life has teamed up with all of the major studios to offer you this wonderful plan. For the low cost of $99 a week, this plan ensures that if you get diagnosed with a terrible illness or a terminal cancer, and your doctor certifies that you will not make it to the next big nerd culture film event, the studios will then screen the film for you in private, probably in your hospital room. Now, the studios do require that you sign an NDA, of course, uh, just in case you don't die for a few more days after the screening. But uh, they also make you sign a DNR, too. You know, just in case. <laughs> wow, such comfort that only $99 a week can buy you. But does this policy cover accidental or sudden death? Yeah, for example, what if I wanted to kill myself so I could see The Last Jedi before everyone else? Well, I guess you just have to get a nerd coffin then. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm next. I'm next. 
Now, before we get to our Star Wars The Last Jedi official trailer breakdown and analysis, we'd like to talk about our last sponsor, Nerd Vision by Google. Oh, wow, Jay. Nerd Vision sounds great. Tell me more about Nerd Vision. Well, they're smart glasses designed by Google, uh, but they have many settings. For example, if you're walking through a store and you want to avoid any Star Wars spoilers on toy packaging, you turn on the Star Wars Smart Detect option on your smart glasses, and they will block out your vision of anything Star Wars. Oh, wow, that's great. You know, because I am so sick of spoilers for Star Wars. Uh, to me, it sounded like you were going to say you were so sick of Star Wars everywhere. That's what it sounded like to me as well. Why, why would I say that? I'm not sick of Star Wars. Jesus Christ, it's only been 40 years. Now, Jay, that is just a great, great product. And I really appreciate the fact that you can block out seeing spoilers. For example, the uh, the, the Last Jedi toy packaging for Rey shows her hair styled slightly different. And, and to me, that's a major major spoiler i was very disappointed when uh, i saw that yeah, very disappointed yeah. um and I, I i had so many questions how did her hair get that way did she style it did princess leia style her hair did she help her uh, there are so many questions right so yeah i i think it's great that there's a product out there for fans who who don't want to see spoilers everywhere yes but let me ask you this what if you want to see star wars products everywhere Oh, well, uh, the Smart Detect option does have a reverse function. Where you see nothing but Star Wars products and everyone else is blocked out. It blocks out everything but Star Wars. Your, your neighbors, your, your in-laws, uh, traffic. Bank statements. Your nearly empty bottle of diabetes medicine that your nerd insurance no longer covers. Very cool, Rich. All your clothes in your closet that just don't fit anymore. And you'll never miss out on Star Wars, because with the built-in speakers, these glasses will detect Star Wars within 10 feet and unleash a piercing, screeching noise directly into your ear. What? Well, if you're blind, there's a function where a voice will describe Star Wars to you oh, wow. into your ear. That's very cool, Rich. Wow. I should kill them? Well, guys, our last sponsor, Nerd Vision, was sponsored by Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer. And I think it's about time we start talking about Star Wars The Last Jedi. The official trailer came out today. Very cool. Very, very cool. cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. cool. Reactions are coming in all over the internet from everybody. And I think it's time that the nerd crew weighed in. Yes, yes. Well, I, I can't wait to, like, dig deep into this trailer. Let, let me tell you, it, it was very exciting. You know, you got, you got those, those, those familiar characters that you love. They're, they're coming back, right? And it's, it's, it's just so exciting and, and action-packed. The, the images yes. are so beautiful. The, the movie's going to look fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and you know it's just so so intriguing. Like you know we we get you know we get to see the villain. And, you know all oh, those, those villains they they look great. Some some fantastic just designs on on that villain in this film. Uh, and then you know so many questions about what happens. Like you get that iconic weapon, right? right Every, you know that right. that just iconic weapon, and it just gets smashed like it was like it was nothing. And oh oh my god, I can't believe I just saw that. And and you know. With, with the music, just the fantastic use of music in this trailer and the build-up to the excitement and, you know, my favorite part, my absolute favorite, it just that, that laugh they gave you at the end. Oh, God, I got, I got a, a, such a chuckle out of that. I'm sorry, did you say laugh? Are you talking about the part at the end when, uh, when Luke says that the Jedi should end? So I don't think that was meant to be a laugh. Yeah, moment. no, I certainly didn't laugh. No, that was very dramatic, very dramatic. Well, well, me, me personally... Yeah, I'm just speaking for myself. Me personally, my favorite part of the trailer was when Thor was happy to fight the Hulk in a gladiator arena. Oh, oh, Rich, I'm sorry. You didn't get the memo. Today's show is about The Last Jedi, the new Star Wars trailer. <laughs> <laughs>
No, 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 Rich, we're not talking about that trailer today. What we are going to talk about is the trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi, which just dropped. And let me tell you guys, I have a lot to say about this trailer. So many Easter eggs, so many little details. I've gone through the trailer and I've analyzed almost every second of this trailer. Wow, Mike, that sounds really exciting. Unfortunately, we are out of time uh, for today's episode, but we would like to take another moment to thank our sponsors, Nerd Coffin, the product that lets you be mint in box, Nerd Life Insurance, and Nerd Vision uh, from Google. And sign up now at nerdinsurance.com with promo code RLM Hospital to get 10% off tickets to Harrison Ford's upcoming funeral. I'd just like to take a moment to give a shout out to Stan Lee, who is still alive. Very cool. 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 Very cool.